Hello everyone. Today when I was checking my closet, I found one of my very old lens, which is Sigma 150 mm A few years ago, while I was making different shots from food stuff, cosmetic and jewelry, I was using this nice lens with my 5D Mark II camera and I was so happy with it those days. Uh, this time I was checking and say, well, uh, I don't need it. I can maybe sell it. But then I found out they're just gonna buy it like 300 US dollar, and it, it is so cheap, I think, to sell it because I bought it like 900 US dollar. And so I said, let's try and test. Maybe, maybe it is working. It's still working. And so I'm gonna try it with my camera, Canon R5 today, and I wanna check. Is it really worth to keep it with this uh, lens and with new camera series in 2023? Is it still working? Let's check the result together. Well, let me say something about this lens. This is the macro lens 150mm f2.8 and it has the ultrasonic motor in it. The minimum closest focus distance is 38 cm and it has a stabilizer in it so it's easy to, I mean, to take the photos with it, to take the shots with it. And one more thing, which is my concern, is a bit the weight. It's a bit heavy, it's around 900 grams. So I want to check it today in this year 2023 with this variation of these macro lenses. Is it worth to keep it? Does it work for me or no? Let's check the result together. Wow, it looks like a monster. It's so heavy. Uh, I'm using my EF adapter to connect this lens to my camera. Uh, normally and usually I have my uh, RF 100mm lens which I use it for my macro purposes and also I have one EF 180mm which I made a review before with this but uh, that's my first time trying this lens connecting by adapter to my camera and I want to check the focusing if it really works or no so let's see how it works.
what well, what I'm seeing in this camera LCD is it's doing perfect and so let's back to my studio and check it in my PC We check the videos together with this lens. We do for Legender lens. This is made in 2006, so it is like 17 years old lens, and it was so amazing that it was working perfectly right now with this new technology and everything. And if you go with the classical usage of this macro lens, I mean, just put it on the stand, go with the manual focus, and everything will be perfect. And I can say it can be a kind of a competitor in the market with the new lenses, new macro lenses. Uh, but with the handheld, uh, you have to just make some adjustment. Like, for example, for the shutter speed, you cannot go under 200 or 250 for focusing. It is a bit heavy to be handled. Right now, I want to go and check the photo shots together because normally we know that for macro, normally everybody go with for the photos, but uh, I also check it with a video, which was working very well. We all saw it. Now let's go and check the photos together and then we come back and make that decision about this great lens. While well, all these photos are taken like handheld, uh, I use the shutter speed like 250 and my f is 2.8. Uh, as you see, the photos are so sharp. I'm gonna look at this kitty and look at the sharpness of the eyes and these glassy eyes with the hairs. So. Even though, for example, this cat was moving a lot, but still it could focus and got this beautiful shot from it. And even we can see all the shadows in the eyes, both of them. So I think this is a great and I should, as I said, I should keep this lens and respect it more. This is another photo I took. With this photo, my ISO is, as you see here, everything's written 6400. I use the shutter speed like 500, and my F is 2.8. Let's focus on this photo and see the details. As you see, I have a very tiny spider web here, and then the spider here. Sharpness and details on all these photo is amazing. Let's focus more. As you see, so clean clear. Even all the small things is there. So, I think this the gender lens is doing very well. Well, let's check this cute photo of my puppy. Let's zoom in on his face. Ah, yeah, you see? The hair, his tongue, the eyes, the shadows also in the eyes. And this photo is taken like ISO, as you see here, 1250. And uh, shutter speed is 250 and f is 4. So, as you see, all the details is there, even all these hairs and the sharpness in the eyes, even the shadows in his eyes, you can see it very clearly. I think this comparison between the photos is proving us that this great and legendary lens is still doing very well. Uh, 
while we all saw the shots, videos, and photos. Isn't it amazing to have such a old land, like 17 years old land, and working such perfectly? I mean, I'm so amazed. This land, Sigma, my land, it is maximum like 200 US dollar right now in the market, the second hand. So I'm gonna keep it because I like it very much. Uh, I was using one adapter to connect it to my camera and I was expecting that maybe the quality can be dropped a bit, but it was working very nice. This is also my Canon 180mm. I had one review with this before, so you can check it in this link. I put it here. And it is also great. Both of these lenses are legendary, and with a low budget, you can have both of them and do all your macro purpose photography or video shooting with it. Uh, with the Sigma 150, if you can adjust your shutter speed like 200 or 250 and you have your f on 8 the best result you can have with the sharpness and the focus so today these two lenses which i have can encourage me to go back maybe on my video or photo shooting um maybe jewelries or food stuff and so i'm very happy to have them and i also recommend you to have them too so until my next videos mm -hmm.